Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faith and I am an online fashion reseller, primarily selling on the Poshmark app. And I create videos sharing tips and tricks to help you grow your reselling business. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a whole lot of Bolo brands with you that specifically are around shoe brands and trends that are going to be coming up for the fall and winter 2021 season. Now, shoes are an amazing category to resell because they resell for a lot of money. Everyone needs shoes and most people own multiple pairs of shoes and they replace them more frequently than other pieces of clothing. So it's a category that is really worth your time to study and nail down and be knowledgeable in. I know it's like the dead of summer and it's like 90 degrees when I am making this video, but I'm specifically going to be focusing on the fall and winter upcoming boots because Q4 is traditionally going to be the most profitable time of the year for both retail and resellers. And now really is the time to start preparing, even though it, like I said, is summertime. So I'm going to walk through what different trends we're going to be seeing so you can really have an eye specifically for the style because style is just as important if not more important when you're picking up items to resell and then also just sharing which brands really specialize or kind of known for the style or trend of shoe. All right, let's get right into it. The first trend that I'm going to talk about is cowboy boots or just like Western shoe wear in general. Now, cowboy boots have been kind of on the rise for a little bit now, but I really think we're going to see it take off this coming fall and winter season. More people I think are gonna be integrating it into like everyday streetwear, not as much like kind of festival focused or people who are into cowboy boots as like a lifestyle. Like you know who I'm talking about. Like there are some people that are ride or die cowboy boots and camo and like that is their jam. But I'm thinking that it's gonna really trickle into like mainstream outfits now this coming season. So the first brand that I'm going to talk about is Old Gringo. Old Gringo retails for the most out of all the brands that I'm going to cover on this list. And it also really retains its resale value. They really focus on just high quality handmade shoes. And they have these like just crazy intricate designs that really just make them look super special and unique and handcrafted. So Old Gringo, definitely top of my list for cowboy bolo brands. The next one I'm going to talk about is Freebirds by Steven. Now Freebirds has been a bolo for a long time now really. It kind of actually falls more into kind of like boho, I would say. Like it definitely gives off free people vibes, but they do have a lot of just like hardcore straight up cowboy boots and they sell super quick. Not only do they sell for a lot of money, they are consistently selling and they have been very popular for a while. So Freebirds by Steven, put it on your list. Next on my list is Fry. Now, Fry, let's talk about Fry. Fry is like the master of all things leather. Leather bags and shoes, like all things shoes. If you find some Fry, you know it's going to be good. I, on all of these trends that I cover, Fry really falls into every single category in my opinion. So I'm probably not gonna say in every single one, but just know Fry is always a winner. But I will say that Fry has been around for a very long time. So sometimes the older styles, or more just like plain styles that aren't very special, aren't going to resell for a ton of money. So it's really important that you're picking up newer pieces by Fry in that they are unique. But with all that being said, you really can't go wrong with Fry. All right, next trend is combat boots. Are we surprised? No, combat boots have been around since like the beginning of time. I still remember wearing combat boots in middle school. I don't think they are ever going to go out of style. However, I will say in this next coming season, the combat boots that are going to be selling the best are platform combat boots and boots that have a chunky heel. That kind of goes without saying for all kind of boots, not specifically just the combat ones, but chunky heel, platform, huge trend right now, and that's really what people are searching for. So the brand that really just owns the combat boot space is Doc Martens. Like, come on, everyone and their mother owns a pair of Doc Martens or Doc Martin dupes. It is a huge bolo, but I'm sure you guys already know this brand. The, honestly, all styles really sell pretty well. It kind of just comes down to condition. You want to make sure that you have a 
good quality pair of boots that you are selling if you want to get the most for them. But honestly, the short ones, the tall ones, all of them sell great. And I'm sure you guys already know this, but yeah, Doc Martens not going away anytime soon. Another brand that I want to share with you guys that is kind of more of like a Chelsea boot, but does kind of come across as like a combat boot is called Blundstone. Now, all of these shoes that are selling really well from this brand all pretty much look the same, so I'll add pictures so you can kind of get an idea, but they are very consistent sellers and resell for a great amount of money. Last on my list is AS98. This brand is a little bit lesser known and maybe harder to come across, but I definitely wanted to share it as a Bolo brand if you've never heard of it, just in case you find it in the wild. They have just amazing quality shoes and they definitely retain the resale value pretty well. Some brands on the lower end that really that sell very consistently based off of style, not necessarily off of their retail or resale value, are Zara, Steve Madden, and Jeffrey Campbell. Now Zara and Steve Madden are gonna be on the lower end, but if you find like a blogger favorite piece or a item that is just super sought after, you can sell those for a lot of money. So if you ever look up like blogger favorite on Poshmark and do research that way, that can be a great way that you can really see which of those brands are super hot and selling consistently. The next category that I'm going to cover is tall boots. So I'm going to be talking about knee highs, over the knee, riding boots, and rain boots. For tall boots, the most classic example I can give you are these black over the knee Stuart Weitzman boots. Bloggers and everyone like swear by these boots and they are incredibly popular. Stuart Weisman is a bolo brand for pretty much every kind of shoe. They retail for a ton of money and also resell very well. Bed Stew is another brand that is known for their leather boots, genuine leather, great quality. The obviously the taller knee high boots or I don't think they actually have over the knee boots. I haven't seen any of those, but knee high boots are going to resell for even more than like the shorter ankle booties. But Bed Stew definitely known for their quality. And lastly on the list is Aquatalia. Again, Aquatalia really sells great in all categories of shoes, but specifically if you can find some taller knee high or over the knee boots by this brand you are in good shape next i want to talk about riding boots riding boots i think are going to be really popular this coming fall and winter specifically more for like preppier looks Tory Burch is definitely at the top of the list for riding boot brands that are going to be selling really well. Tory Burch is just kind of iconic for that kind of style. I know I already mentioned Fry, but I want to mention it again here because Fry also does have some great styles of riding boots. And then lastly, I'm going to kind of put these brands together, Coach and Michael Kors. Now, I'm not advising anyone to just pick up Coach and Michael Kors if you find it like any kind of style. I definitely would really check comps to see which styles of these brands are selling well, but they do have riding boots that can be really popular if they are for the right price. Don't overpay, definitely do not overpay, but they do have styles that still do well even though the brands are kind of hit or miss. And then lastly are rain boots. The most well-known brand obviously is Hunter Boots. Hunter Boots are still definitely going strong. The taller ones obviously are gonna sell more than the shorter ones, but they are still really hot on the resale market and are selling extremely, extremely consistently. Another rain boot that I want to talk about that may, I don't know, it's maybe gonna be on like your Bolo wish list. I don't know how often you're gonna be able to come across it, but Burberry rain boots. If you can find these, like that is the mecca of rain boot and definitely pick it up. The next trend category I'm gonna talk about is snow boots. Everyone needs snow boots in the winter, okay? Maybe not like in California. I don't know, you could still wear them. I feel like people wear them just to, like be part of the trend. Like, oh, everyone's wearing snow boots and I need to wear snow boats even though there's like no snow. But the brand that is gonna pop right into your mind right away is Sorel. Now Sorel is again, like Hunter and Doc Martin, like just a no brainer. It is definitely dominating the market right now in boots. Specifically the boot style though that I think is going to do really well are the taller boots that have a lot of fur detail and a lot of like lace up detail, the more 
intricate version of these. I think this boot is really going to dominate this winter and I might even pick a pair up for myself for when I go on vacation. I know I just trashed people in California who wear winter boots for no reason, but I really want a pair. Some other brands that are kind of like lower tier brands that I'm just gonna spit off and not really spend too much time on are Timberland, Burton, and North Face. All super solid if you find them, really can't go wrong, but I think what I'm really trying to get at with talking about snow boots is kind of more the style. I think fur detail with um, like a lot of like lace up tie is going to be something as far as a trend to really look for. Okay, now I kind of want to talk about materials and patterns because we just talked about like types of shoes, which are somewhat obvious in a sense, but kind of patterns and materials I want to go over. So just as a reseller in general, I think it's really great to focus on genuine leather or just really high quality leather. That right there is where the money is. I know talking about shoes, but like leather jackets, leather bags, leather shoes. Like those are gonna be your money makers right there. And they also are just like super popular right now. Like leather is super in right now, whether it's like full leather jackets, leather pants, leather full leather leggings, like leather is everywhere. So definitely be on top of the leather game this coming season. Another kind of version of this is patent leather. It's so like the shinier leather that's going to be really popular with shoes. The next one I'm kind of sad about, it's animal print. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a fan of the snake skin. I've really had enough of the snake skin stuff, but it's still here, okay? It's not going anywhere. So, snake skin, crocodile print, zebra print, cow print was super big this past summer, but I'm thinking like with shoes, it's traditionally like the crocodile or snake skin. Um, but yeah, animal, animal print in general is gonna be super big. Um, the embossed, I do like the croc embossed look, so I guess I will say I like that, but yeah, animal print is going to be pretty big. Another thing that I know we are all aware of is like the square toe and the pointed toe. We don't want round toes and we don't want almond shaped toes, specifically with like the taller boots. Not really, I think combat boots is kind of just like a given that it's going to be a rounder toe. Same with probably winter boots just because of the practicality of it. But for like the knee high and over the knee boots and even kind of like the cowboy boots, a pointed toe is where it's at. And then lastly is sequins. Now, I kind of more am talking about sequins for like your clothing, but I really do think that like bedazzled, crazy sequin shoes will also be popular. The whole like disco diva is going to be like a trend and it kind of ties into how like we're seeing the 70s come back. But if you find a pair of like crazy sequin boots, definitely pick them up. They're gonna be great for like, I think people are gonna be going crazy like the wearing 20s coming this fall and winter because we all wanna get out and go to like fancy events. And then also I'm thinking like New Year's Eve. So I, I would pay attention to sequins for like clothing and then also for boots. All right, that's all that I have for you. It's a wrap. I really had fun making this video. So if you wanna see more fashion, forecast or trends and like bolo videos, comment down below and let me know. I definitely wanna close in saying that it is important to focus both on trend and style and also brand and resale value. You really, oh my gosh, my dog, I tell you what. You really need to put the two together to have some magic happen in your business. I don't think one really trumps the other because you have to make sure that you are staying profitable. You can't just pick up things because they're cute, but also on the same note, even though something's a bolo brand, it really a lot of times is dependent on the style and the condition. You wanna make sure that your shoes are in good condition. So the two really have to complement each other. So it's very important to focus on both. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.